Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the governor and first lady of the state of Arkansas, Mike and Ginger Beebe. I might be me. Do solemnly swear, Do solemnly swear that, I that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Arkansas. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. That I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Of governor, of the state of of governor of the State of Arkansas. Upon which I am now about to enter. Upon which I am now about to enter. So help me God. Thank you. Surrounded by these monuments to our heritage, we come together to make a better future for our state. I accept the obligations this office and this oath confer because I believe in Arkansas and her people. I gratefully acknowledge all of those whose support and effort make this day possible. I'm here because of you. I humbly acknowledge those who have taken this oath before, some of whom are here today. I will work every day to meet the high standard they set. I respectfully acknowledge that the governor leads one of three co-equal branches of our government. I look forward to working with the legislature and the judiciary to give our fellow citizens a government of the highest caliber. I knowingly acknowledge that no one person and no one political party are the repository of all wisdom. I will embrace every idea that would improve the lot of those we serve. And I emphatically acknowledge that all of us in government are servants of a proud people and a mighty God. Let no one mistake our purpose. We work for them and we work for him. This great gift brings great satisfaction, but it brings even greater responsibility. The responsibility is not just for the day-to-day -day workings of state government or even to supporters who made this day possible. It's a responsibility that stretches across time from the earliest days of our state to generations yet to come. The responsibilities of this office magnify the challenges we face, especially when times are difficult. As our Kansans, that is our heritage. Some to cho choose to focus on the difficulties and the challenges, and indeed the issues we face that we'll be dealing with as we enter this four-year term, education, higher education, preschool, tax fairness, economic growth, health care, the environment, are all strikingly similar to issues governors and legislators have faced for decades. But we have an opportunity to change that history Tomorrow, we will begin this process with detailed proposals about what we can do to address our current problems and, more importantly, shape our future. Today, tomorrow, and for the next four years, this will be our guiding light, working together to make a better future for our state. Our goals and ambitions will be nothing less than the very best that is possible. To aim lower is unacceptable. Anyone who has made the journey from where I started to where I stand today knows that absolutely anything 
is possible. I refuse to accept that hard times or perennial problems are our lot in life. We are Kansans are imbued with a spirit of persistent hope. And this is my challenge to each of you and to everyone in our state. Let us transform that hope into reality. Let us resolve that our endeavors will force future generations to acknowledge that the men and women who lived and worked in our time changed the course of our history. Where others have found persistent problems, let us discover new opportunities. Where others have seen traditional divisions, let us embrace our common humanity. Where others have felt unmanageable burdens, let us celebrate our manifold gifts. Where others have seen obstacles, let us see a path to a new day, a new way in the history of the state we love. Where others have witnessed history repeating itself, let us seize the our opportunity and create a new awakening to the possibilities of change and the promise of success in our state now, today. I know the hard realities and the genuine possibilities of life. And any one of you who has made this journey knows that the necessary ingredients to transform those hard realities into new possibilities already exist inside each and every one of us. The ceremony today, my constitutional responsibilities are addressed. But just as important as addressing those constitutional responsibilities is the leadership imperative to make every Arkansan understand the undeniable fact that we can make our future what we want it to be. It's a lesson I learned watching my mother make a life for us on a waitress's tips. It's a lesson I see in every community, every day in our state. Awakening to the possibilities of change and the promise of success is not as hard as skeptics suggest. The evidence is all around us. Some of the most successful people of this generation in the entire world are from right here and work right here and live right here and call Arkansas home. People of unbelievable success in business and science, the arts, and almost every imaginable field. What we must ensure is that we give all of our people and generations yet to come, those same opportunities, that encouragement, that self-confidence that they need to continue that legacy of world-class achievement right here in Arkansas. <laughs> Let us make Arkansas that place where dreams come true and hopes become reality. Let us knock down the barriers and say to everyone, black and white, men and women, rich and poor, rural and urban, that we have awakened to the possibilities of change and to the promise of success. Follow your hopes and follow your dreams. Follow them right here in Arkansas. We will be stewards of our heritage and the authors of our future. So, with our heritage as our guide, a new future awaits us if we have the fortitude to seize the moment that we have been given. Few generations have been given the tools and the opportunities that we have been given to protect the vulnerable and to empower the powerless, to unleash the magnificent talent and imagination that are in our people right now, right here. We dare not squander it. So let us begin today with a pledge that we will seize our moment and write our history for this proud state we love. Join me on this journey. Join me, all of you. We have a future to create. We will do it together. God bless you, and God bless Arkansas. Thank you very, very much.